In this brief video, I will show you how to upload your quiz to Gradescope. There are two main reasons I'm using Gradescope for this class and for grading. First is consistency. Gradescope makes grading much more consistent between students. This means that I won't inadvertently take off more points for one student than another. Therefore, my grading is more fair. Second, speed. I can grade and regrade much, much faster in Gradescope. To begin, you will need to download the quiz from Canvas. I'll assume you found the quiz on Canvas since you're watching this video. Next, complete the quiz using Microsoft Word or a similar word processing program. When you are satisfied with your answers to the questions on the quiz and are ready to submit your quiz to Gradescope, you first need to export the file. However, prior to doing this, please try to make sure your answers do not go over multiple pages as this makes grading on Gradescope more difficult. Scrolling down through my quiz, I noticed that my question six breaks over two pages. To fix this, I will hit enter a few times before question six to get the answer along with the question onto a single page. Now, if I look at the questions appearing after question six, I see that question 11 now breaks over multiple pages. No problem, hitting enter a few times fixes this. Finally, I am ready to export my quiz to a PDF. In Word, this is done by clicking File, Save As, specifying the file format as a PDF, and then clicking Export. Make sure you note where you save the document on your computer and what you called it. Here I'm calling my file summative quiz one dash Chris. Next, you will open up Gradescope. Everyone should be registered, and if you have trouble logging in, please let me know as soon as you can. You should be registered for only one class, that is STAT 120 Honors. You will want to click the STAT 120 Honors button. However, prior to doing this, Note that it says one assignment. This means you have one assignment that is due. Click STAT 120 Honors. Now it will tell you which assignment is due, which is summative quiz number one. It'll tell you the status, which is that you have not yet submitted this quiz, and it will tell you when it is due. This quiz is due January 30th at 1159 p.m., which is this Sunday. To submit the quiz, click Summative Quiz 1, click Submit PDF, click Select PDF, and then find the file that you just created. Here is mine right here. And I will click Upload, and then finally Upload PDF. Now we're almost done. The first, the final thing we need to do is we need to tell Gradescope where the answers to our questions are on each page. If we look over here on page number two, I see that I have questions to answer one, two, three, four, and five on page two. So for that, I'll click for question one, I'll click two, and then I'll go, come over here and click two. For three, I'll click page two. For four, I'll click page two. For five, I'll click page two. Oh, now I need to tell it where question six is. Well, question six is on page three, so I'll click this. And seven's over here as well. Eight, nine, and finally 10. And then 11 is the only one that is on question for page four, is on page four, excuse me. Now that I'm satisfied with my answers and where they are on the pages, I will click submit. Um, it, it will give you a notice that page one doesn't have any associated questions, and this is okay because that contains our abstract, and then we'll click Submit. And you will get this notification that your summative quiz has been submitted, and you can click Close. It will also tell you that a receipt of your submission has been submitted to your email address. Now, if you have made a mistake and you need to resubmit, you can always do this by clicking the Resubmit button down here. Now you will be able to res resubmit until the due date. 